Hey, what's up guys? Mitch back with another episode of Movement Mondays. And today we're talking about patellofemoral syndrome. Uh, we've got Jeremy with us. Hey he's, a, he's a pretty awesome runner and he's kind of getting pain in and around that sort of 8, 10 kilometer mark of his runs and he yeah. wants to say, hey, I want to run a little bit more. So for any of you guys that get pain kind of in and around the kneecap and someone's told you it's patellofemoral syndrome, what that means is the kneecap, as it sort of glides back and forth over the knee as you run, is not tracking well so it's sort of gliding over this way or that way or back and forth and sort of grinding on one side more than the other and that causes some issues uh, like a jar over here he's having some issues coming in you know how do I get this to feel a little bit better so one good test you could do especially if you're a runner is we want to take a look at how this kind of posterior chain or the movement behind your leg how those legs are moving because if your hamstring muscles are a bit too tight and your bum muscles aren't working kind of enough to kind of move your leg back what we end up finding is we get really tight and stiff. So Jerry is a really good example of this. So we're going to take a look at him and then talk about if you guys have this issue, how you can go about treating it. Okay, so we're going to get Jeremy here on his back. So we call this an active straight leg raise type movement. So first thing you're going to do is lay down on your back and then keeping your kind of, you're just going to kind of take your leg and keep it straight and move it up as far as you can go. And that's about where Jerry gets. So <laughs> and I can't really pull him much more. It's like a fan. Um, that feels good, right? Uh, more or less. <laughs> and so he's pretty tight, you can see. And if he comes up on this side, great. You can see he's really struggling to kind of hold that leg up and come back down. So your hamstring muscles are a muscle that's going to help explode your leg back when you run. Uh, the glutes and hamstrings both do this movement. If your hamstrings aren't doing the movement, oh, sorry, glutes aren't doing the movement, hamstrings are going to do it instead. So what do we do and how do we kind of take care of this? So if you come up into sitting for us, first thing we're going to do is a bit of a self-release for your hamstring muscles. I love this one. You can do it sitting in a chair. You're going to take this, put that underneath your hamstring like this. Get some good compression on it from the top. So you're going to sneak here, put some pressure down on it, back tall, and then you're going to straighten your leg. Come back down, press, straighten your leg. Okay? So you can give that a try for us, Jerry. Sure. So he comes here. And the whole point of this is the hamstring short in this bent position. He puts some pressure on it and then straightens his leg through it. You can feel that tightness, AJ. Okay. You want to be up tall with this. Good. Press down and straighten. Great. You're going to move this all the way through your hamstrings. From the top all the way down to the bottom of the thigh. Really opening up all of this business. Right? Keep going. Good. Keep working on that, okay, Jack? Sure. So, he works through that posterior chain. The other big thing that happens, his glutes clearly aren't turning on. So, his bum muscles aren't working well. That can be some restrictions going on elsewhere. If you're not sure where your tightnesses are or what's going on, see your healthcare professional. But some things we can do is start working with activating his bum muscle a little bit. So while he's working on that, you can get a band like this and sneak it around your knees. Now, a big issue with runners is that when you're on that single leg stance, that knee starts to fall in a little bit, um, which is kind of amplifying this issue. So we can have him set knees up like this and focusing on taking that knee and driving that out to really strengthen the bum muscles and turn off those hamstrings, work on those glute muscles. So he's down and pressing him. So you can do these 10 reps per side. Really want to feel that back here in your butt muscle and be able to stabilize in that running sort of stance position. Okay? So that's number two. Now, the third thing that you can do is get into a little bit the front quads a little bit. So you've got to take apart that IT band that comes out the back and into the, into the kind of outside part of the patella or the kneecap. So Jared's done this before, he's gonna show us that one. So you're gonna lay on that one and kind of release that, that upper quad. Close me, our floors are hard, so he's going on the ground. <laughs> Great. Awesome, so he's got the ball in right here. Good, and he's gonna push that down and then bend that knee through. Good, and that sucks, right? Yeah. And so he's really kind of opening up that cap all where the ball is. You can change that position a little bit. Good. And it feels so good that it hurts. <laughs> he comes back up. Good. You can pop on up first here. Turn your back again. Good. So that's kind of what we're working on today. You always want to look at your ankles, hips, all these things when it comes down to knee pain. Uh, but for today, if you're post to your chain or your hamstrings are limited, get in with the ball, open up the back of your hamstrings, get into the quad, open up the front of there, uh, and finish up uh, yourself with some glute strength, okay? Let's see you lift his leg up again. Awesome, you can get a little bit higher there, and then this side again. Awesome, and that's just from spending 30 seconds working with the ball. Spend a little bit more time in that, you can hopefully get some more range, and then run your half marathons. All right, thanks a lot, guys.
Thanks, Jared. Stop, guys. <laughs> Remember to move like you mean it, guys. Thanks a lot.